so you can see it's just that very basic soft cottony hoodie you know the box is blue and stuff like that but it's definitely a unisex scent H&M t-shirt This evening I have a little unboxing for you and it is an H&M unboxing so I have this lovely large box and inside there are three things that I got two clothing items and one beauty item They're all very cozy and I can't wait to use them but I of course had to put them aside for a lovely unboxing especially because they came in this very sleepy sounding cardboard
know that we're all nice and sleepy. Okay. Let's have a look in the box. Okay, so that was a lot harder to open <laughs> than I thought. That lid was a tight fit, so I'm sure none of that made it into the video. So, you can maybe see the first item here. Yeah, you definitely can. And then the second one here. So let me just push this box into the background and take out the first item. Very crinkly. I don't know how well the camera is picking up this beautiful faded orange um, peach color. You can kind of see it against my orange nail how it's like a faded peach orange. And I got it in a man's large or a men's large in like. Um, it's from the guy's section because I really wanted like an oversized kind of style. Um, and I saw this one and I was like, I love it. Straight away, I loved it. So yeah, hood, jacket, orange, L. And then a whole lot of other things. You might be logo here. I wonder if you can tell what it is already from just that. I can tell what it is, but I know what it is already, so. There's something about hoodies, isn't there? They're just like the comfiest, coziest item of clothing ever. Especially when you have like an oversized hoodie that is like kind of baggy around the sleeves, kind of comes down like that, you know. With a big hood, I like it when the hood is kind of like like a really large hood. I don't like like a tight hood. So hopefully. This one will be very in that kind of style. I know that men's and women's clothes are kind of made a little differently, obviously. We have some things that guys don't and vice versa. So hopefully around the chest area it will not be like a problem, but I got it in a large. sure this is going to be nice and relaxed to fit. So let me just open this up and show you what we have on the front of the hoodie. I think it's only on the front. Maybe there's something on the back too. I'm not sure. I can't remember. See, it's just that very basic, soft, cottony hoodie. Feels quite thick. It's 
got that nice fluffy inside, inside the pocket. That's the front pocket. A little kangaroo pouch, if you will. Okay. So, at the front, we have a little post-it <laughs> logo. So this my lovely post-it hoodie. So now you understand the kind of faded peachy orange color. It's kind of the color of postings, you know. And then we have our hood, which hopefully is a big loose hood. anything on the back. Yes, there is. Oh, it's glorious. Yes, we have a very large post-it logo on the back. I had forgotten. I knew if there was something on the back, it would just be the same as the front, but I didn't remember if there was one on the back. But there is, and it is glorious. strange when you think about like H&M buying the license to put the post-it logo on a hoodie. <laughs> Somebody had to have that idea and it is a glorious idea. I'm so happy that someone had that creative idea to mix an H&M hoodie with the post-its. They're quite good at that H&M kind of like going for the right licenses and like designs and stuff. I really like it. They do like a lot of NASA stuff which is kind of like, I guess it's kind of cool for a lot of different age groups. Like my age group it's cool because like it's a bit retro. Reminds us of like childhood and stuff. Like younger kids, it's cool too. I don't know. I know my daughter thinks it's cool, so <laughs> lots of different ages think it's cool. Size-wise, the men's large is pretty big compared to a woman's large, which is cool because that's exactly what I wanted. Oh, actually, it's kind of looking like the right color right now. Before it was kind of washed out, but there on the screen right now, it looks like the good colour. I don't know how it's going to look when I, um, I edit, but um, if it's like I see it right now... Oh no, it's getting washed out again. Oh, I don't know. My uh, camera settings are too automatic, so sometimes things get washed out and sometimes they come back. I don't know. But yeah, my beauty. Oh, I'm so excited. It's beautiful. As soon as I'm done filming this evening, I am putting this post-it hoodie on. I'm gonna make my hot water bottle up and I'm gonna watch... What will I watch? Probably Supergirl on Netflix. I know it's kind of cheesy but I like it. It's just one of those series that is just like you know you're not gonna have a bad feeling during it, you know? You're just gonna be like taken along on a kind of cheesy American storyline and it's gonna be all fine in the end and stuff like that. I don't know. I really like it. Okay, look at the next oh, hoodie. E.T. An extra terrestrial. It's funny seeing um, extraterrestrial written underneath E.T. Maybe it's like because it's designed for a French or European audience. I don't know. Or maybe because younger people don't know what it is. I don't know. I always thought it was just like 
just written like 18. I didn't think it was ever explained from like merch or anything. Just give a little space to my ETUD. Okay, so this is also a men's large from H&M. And we have a black hoodie with ET written on the front. And this one though, I know has something on the back. And I bet anybody um, who has seen ET can guess what is on the back. I'm excited to see it, like in real, um, really in front of me, for real. It looked pretty good on the website, but, you know, with printing, sometimes, I don't know. Like, I would have preferred to see it in store, to know if it looked good or not. The post-it one, you could probably just, like, trust the photo, because it's very simple. And it's not like um, RDF, like 3D-ish printing. It's actually just, you see, it's just like um, printed on the fabric, you know. But the image on the back of this hoodie is probably like a full 3D printed thing. like a few fibers on there, like fabric fibers that are not 100% black. And when I look in my screen, it looks like a faded, fluffy, like, piece of material with like, look what looks like dog hairs on it. It's so strange. I need to sort out my camera settings. I don't know how to stop it from like, washing out like that, huh? If anybody has any camera knowledge <laughs> about filming, well, I should probably just do my research, let's face it. I need to take the time and really learn how to use my camera properly. For taking pictures, I'm okay, but for filming, honestly, I've never done anything but um, use automatic settings, which is terrible. I will try and get my technical skills up to stop that kind of whitewash of the images sometimes. Okay, so we have ET, the extraterrestrial. In France, it's still called ET. Extraterrestre. Yeah, it's still it. So yeah, again, a nice uh, big loose hood. I think it's probably going to be the same um, shape as the post-it one. It looks like it so far. Okay, let me just open it up the front and then I'll turn it yeah, looks like the same shape and size. Okay, it's actually amazing. <laughs> ET extraterrestrial. And then we have the moon. Wow. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's really well done, actually. So you have ET printed again in that kind of 3D that makes you wonder if it's um, glow-in-the-dark. I don't think it is. It looks very white, white. And then around the moon, there is spatters of stars, some of which are a bit more, you know, like a drawing of a star, where others are more like spatters. And then you get to the 
the moon and it's like a printed part like a plastic funeral part and the details are actually really nice and we have our little silhouette of E.T. in the basket as they're flying in front of the moon, little Elliot. It's really, really cute. I love it. Wow. And um, we watched E.T. with my daughter, like, I'm going to say like six months ago. She really enjoyed it. Funny because like when you think of your own childhood films, they're not necessarily going to be the childhood films of your children, but you would really like them to be. Like Free Willy, I really wanted her to love that film. <laughs> and she liked it, but like she wasn't like bothered about seeing it again. I watched that film like hundreds of times, I think. <laughs> um, there are other films that I watched just hundreds of times. I think maybe it was just the fact that you had it on like cassette tape and like you couldn't just like watch whatever on Netflix, you know, you, you couldn't have like a new film every day or like a new series all the time. You just had those cassettes that your parents bought or like your friends recorded for you or stuff like that. So you ended up watching like films over and over and over again. I might do a like a video of like some nostalgic films that I used to watch over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> yeah, that's a good video idea. So yeah, E.T. was one of them. E.T. Free Willy. Hendersons. Bigfoot and the Hendersons. Yeah. Mighty Ducks. Wow. That was because of my little brother. But I loved it too. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that kind of video soon. Okay. So I am going to show you the last thing I got, which is not a hoodie. Surprisingly. just gonna leave the moon as a background because I think it goes pretty well. The colour of this. Okay, so it is called T-shirt. Eau de toilette, vaporisateur natural spray. Vaporisateur, vaporizer, natural spray. Um, Cosmetics blue nose. <laughs> okay, so this is basically one of the HM fragrances. Um, I've never really paid attention to them before just because I don't know, I just don't associate HM with fragrances. But this kind of sparked my attention when I was looking at the guys' hoodies. Maybe it's because I was looking in the guys' section that um, I noticed. But this is, I think it's a unisex scent. So basically this is a classic cotton t-shirt scent. And I have been wanting um, something to replace a scent that I had years ago. And actually um, it wasn't my scent, <laughs> it wasn't my perfume, it was a present that I was given for the birth of my daughter, and it was baby perfume, which I thought was a little strange, but, so a baby perfume is not really a gift 
or even a thing, I think. I don't even know if it's a thing in the UK or like English speaking countries, but um, apparently uh, French people have perfumes for their babies. Or some French people do. Um, it's from, it was from like um, Chacadie, Paris, which is like a very fancy um, French children's clothing um, line. Brand sort of thing. And it was a very fancy gift. And I didn't really want to use it on my daughter at first because, well, she was a baby, so it seemed strange. Um, and then when she was a little older, I tried it, but um, her skin is very reactive like mine. But obviously her being younger, her skin is a little more sensitive. I think her skin will probably always be a little bit more sensitive than mine. She has a problem with like eczema and stuff. Whereas I don't really get eczema much, just a little. Hold on, I'm just going to remove this because it's really noisy. Okay, that's better. So yeah, my daughter, I tried it on her, but she had reactions to it. But the smell was very lovely. It was kind of what you would expect a baby perfume to be. It was more like clean laundry. Um, very like fresh cotton smell. It was lovely. Um, and I ended up using it myself. <laughs> I was using baby perfume, uh, which was cool for me because at that time I couldn't really use many perfumes because my skin would react pretty badly. So I kind of got used to using baby perfume <laughs> and I loved it. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this could be an alternative. A classic cotton t-shirt scent sounds kind of similar. I think it's probably more um, focused on the men's side of the scents, just like packaging wise and yeah, it's like blue and you know the box is blue and stuff like that but it's definitely a unisex scent, H&M t-shirt. So if this ends up being anything like that Chacadie perfume, I am going to be really happy. Okay, let me give this a spritz. I'm going to spritz it right into the box. I prefer not to do it directly onto my skin the first time. it won't be too strong when it gets to me. Okay. Okay. I need to let it calm a little. It's definitely more on the masculine side. Okay, it needs to calm down even more. I hate smelling scents too quickly. And just get like a big waft of like alcohol up your nose and a strong scent. Okay, no, it's like a male version of the perfume that I had before. It's not a bad smell. It's like a very simple, like, it is kind of a simple laundry smell, but like, no, I think it's going to be more of a masculine scent overall. I'll have to try it on, like, for real and see how it smells like actually wearing it. There's a difference between just smelling something like that and actually it and seeing how it wears. I like the bottle. It's very simple. It goes well with the smell. But I don't know. It might have to be 
passed on to my lovely partner, he might get more use out of it than me. Oh well. Actually, thinking about it, he might get <laughs> some use out of these hoodies too. They might be a bit big, but he'll have to go for the oversized hoodie look too. I don't know how cool that is for guys. Oversized hoodie style good for guys too. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's not really his style, but I'm sure he could pull it off. Okay. So I got two big. Post-it and E.T. <laughs> Two completely different styles and even like premises. <laughs> one is like a, a stationary brand and one is like a classic film. <laughs> but both are wonderful. And then a little either enjoy on myself or enjoy on my partner. Either way, I still get to enjoy it. Okay. I am going to leave this video here. And let you guys drink. I'll see you.